So in today's video, we're going to be doing a breakdown of the Hadiken token. And we're going to be using it as an example on how I try and spot a scam. So look, I'm not perfect. I've mentioned on this channel, my entry into crypto, I was a big SafeMoon hodler. Okay, I bought SafeMoon literally at the tippy, tippy top <laughs> before it crashed down. Not only that, I was making SafeMoon videos, kind of beating my chest saying like SafeMoon's the next coming of, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. And even then, I didn't know what the heck I was talking about. And we've all been there, right? Where we invest in a project, maybe we're early to crypto and we get wrecked. You put some money in, you're watching it go up a little bit, maybe after a week or two and it's gone. <laughs> and you've lost everything. So I want to put this video out on Hadiken Token. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I kind of had to drag myself through it to do it. I didn't really want to give them any publicity because I do feel it is a 100% scam. But what ended up kind of pushing me through it was I had a Patreon member. One of our tiers is you can ask for me to review any token you want if, if you're a Patreon member. And he asked for me to review this thing in earnest. And I felt if I put this video out... Maybe I could help illustrate some of the things that I'm looking for when I'm evaluating tokens as potential scams and maybe teach folks some tools to use and hopefully save them from losing their hard earned money. So first time here, my name's Ryan, no autopilot YouTube channel. I put out cryptocurrency content damn near every single day. My claim to fame is deep dives. Um, you know, it's not bragging if you're telling the truth. I feel as if I give some of the best due diligence research in all of YouTube cryptoverse. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Again, I make tons of mistakes, but I definitely try and color in the blanks on reviewing these tokens and evaluating them if they're a solid investment or not. So that brings us to Hadiken. Hadiken token. So first and foremost, can we just pause? And appreciate the branding here. Okay, you got the general haddock. It looks like Wolverine. It looks like they literally took Wolverine. And then you got the pink duchess over here. I'm assuming that's Wonder Woman. Uh, it even has like the Photoshop bad outside white line crop thing going. So that brings us to our first comment. When you jump on a website for these things, you need to be blown away. It needs to show you something you haven't seen before in a good way, not in a bad way. And so jumping on this thing, the first thing that jumps out to me is, oof, that seems sketchy. That seems sketchy. So anyhow, what is Hadiken trying to do? Well, they're going to try and create a DAO to DAO blockchain, which I don't fully understand why you need that, but that's what they're touting as they're creating. Future plans is create a social media dApp that integrates with Hadiken token that is also connected to Inks Nation blockchain. And somehow these two different blockchains work together through the social media app, which is another good sign, right? Like if it's too complex for you to kind of comprehend what they're trying to do, chances are it's a scam. And then finally, the last piece of it is they're trying to give a universal universal basic income through this thing just by you owning the token and hodling it okay hodling it so another part of this thing so if you scroll down on their website uh any token that kind of talks about charities nonprofits, doing good for the world like immediately my, my spidey sense is kicking off saying ah i don't trust you i don't trust you and that's pretty much what they're layering in here. They're talking about all races of the world coming together from Europe and Asia and Africa and uh, all trying to create wealth and success for everyone. Definitely another red flag. Quick pause for the comments. What we got? Old Bear. Good. Meta Marvel. LMAO. Meta Marvel. If you need help investigating coins, let me know. I do this all day for fun. Bro, okay. Yeah, if you're not in it, definitely join the Discord. We're trying to create a little community there where we do exactly that, right? Someone brings up a token. 
uh, in any of the spaces, right? Uh, games, um, uh, DeFi, NFTs, whatever. And we're all trying to work to do some deep due diligence and share it with the community. So definitely check that out. All right. So the next part of this thing, which, by the way, I read through their entire white paper, 14 pages of like <laughs> superheroes, colorful shields, community. Oh, come on, guys. So another thing that scares me away and old bear, I know you're already on this is the token supply and the token supply. That's 10,000 million billion trillion two quadrillion tokens out there. Two quadrillion tokens is the maximum supply. And not that it matters because this thing is a shit coin, but only of which half a million are in circulation. Half a million. OK, <laughs> that is not a good sign because what happens here? I should back up. I shouldn't just assume that everyone's fallen. OK, so when there's this massive supply of tokens, it makes it really difficult for the token to really be worth anything. Um, in addition to that. It, it, it's kind of like a trick, right? Because you could spend $10 and now you have 7 trillion coins. And if it only hits a dollar, right? You're a trillionaire. And it's kind of like a trick to get people who maybe aren't as savvy in investing to feel like they're part of something, to feel like they have a chance to escape poverty. When in essence, these things are just kind of siphoning money off on the back end and taking it away from you. And then the other part of it, so only since half a million tokens are in circulation and they still have this massive amount out there, they could go ahead, they could dump it, and it's just going to completely, completely dilute the value of the asset. So, superhero themed meme coin talking about saving the world with two quadrillion tokens. Okay, I'm just keeping track. All right, these are a couple red flags when we're looking at these things. See what we got in the chat. Oh, old bear. Oh, my word. <laughs> when I was putting this video together, I, I I like heard your even though I've never heard your voice. I heard your voice in the back of my head say, damn, that's a lot of coins. Uh, old bear, that thing will never hit a penny. No, it won't. No, it won't. But it gets better or worse, depending on how you want to look at it. So Hattican token is connected to Inks Nation Dow. Uh, which is kind of that blockchain that we're talking about that they're attempting to build again same things about the website right the branding looks a little bit weird they got kind of this amateurish vibe to the whole thing so definitely not feeling any of that if you scroll down right some of these things if you're brand new to crypto if you're brand new to crypto there's no way that you know what these things mean human asset tokenization Global currency reset, distributed reserve, central bank digital currency, strategic global abundance monetary policy. Like they, they intentionally make these things vague and confusing for those newer investors. Because if you don't understand it, you don't know you're being scammed. And I'm just going to play a very small snippet of this thing. But part of this is you look at the founders, you look at the community. And you try and get your thumb on, okay, the validity and honesty of the group. So let's give it a little click here. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to give that a pause so they don't claim my video and get all my, uh, my uh, ad revenue. But in essence, not good, right? If you have a, a marketing campaign that's championing you know, again, some of those social themes with super smiles and like sh almost shouting at you. Like, why are they trying to convince you so hard? It's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. Now, one thing, one last thing to mention on this. So people oftentimes click off of my videos when we talk about community, right? When we look at their Reddit or their Twitter and those type of things. But the importance of that is, is that you can fake a whole bunch of stuff. Right. If you have money, you can build a cryptocurrency. You could pay a dev to do like a half ass job in building it. You could pay for a website. You could pay for marketing. But the one thing that you can't fake is community. You can't like there's no scalable way to go ahead and have like a ton of bots seem authentic, seem real, engage with your 
content with your crypto. And so it's a super important thing to look at also. Cool. Um, so again, this is off that Inks Nation DAO. I looked at some of the founding team members because they're the same founding team members of Haddock and Token. Uh, and now I think some of this may be cultural and I don't want to sound like, you know, an ignorant jerk by by saying this, but they have open positions right now for universal mummy of all white, universal mummy of all black, universal mummy of all Asians. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not vibing with that. That seems strange to me. So again, we already talked on the massive supply of tokens, the very few of those that are actually in circulation. Now, they do have some burn mechanisms, and oftentimes with these scam coins, it's like a carrot in the stick type thing, okay? So they're trying to convince you to buy in now, right, right now. So you feel like you're early. You feel like you get it in before this thing pumps. And part of that is they go and they mention burns. So they're going to burn 40% of the supply over the span of 20 weeks. And then they're going to go ahead and burn more tokens as they hit certain milestones. So it's like once you buy in, they're trying to captivate your attention so you don't get you know, dissuaded, disinterested, and sell. Because you're always holding out for that next major milestone. But the founders of these things, the team behind it, they're cashing out on you way before, way before any of those major milestones are hit. What we got in the chat? <laughs> gibberish. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. Absolutely gibberish. So they do mention that they had a fair launch, which makes sense because no one's going to go ahead and support this thing with seed money, private money. Now, another cool tool to use is Token Sniffer. Okay, so what Token Sniffer does is it evaluates the contract um, automatically, right, using AI, and it turns out this report. And there's a couple things that stand out. So uh, the source code contains a possible contract, what means the founders could potentially uh, allow transfers to be stopped. So at any point, the founders could go ahead and turn off transfers. And if you can't sell, your money is stuck. They don't have renounced ownership. Talk about some liquidity stuff. Yeah, not feeling good. So we touched on community a little bit. So I went and I pulled up the Reddit that they link in their uh, website. 230 members, no comments. The only actual comment I could find from a community member was someone who bought it on PooCoin 28 days ago, saying it never showed up in his wallet. And it's been 30 days and no one has responded to him. He's like, I don't know who these 230 members are. I think it might just be him and a bunch of bots. Sorry, Total Toe 4997. Hope you get your coins. So we also go ahead, we take a look at their Twitter account. Um, typically for projects, I'm trying to see if they post regularly and this one hasn't posted since the 31st. So that also is a bad sign. They link a medium, uh, page on their webpage. And of course that's a 404 out of nothing. Something went wrong. There's nothing there. Now, earlier in the video, we talked about shills, right? We talked about how there's a lot of money flowing around cryptocurrency. Go ahead and pump these things. And you and I, who research crypto, we can go ahead and we can avoid these scams pretty easy. We can smell the bullshit. But newer people, right, especially people who are maybe in like poverty or impoverished nations, um, they're seeing these things as opportunities to escape that life. And a lot of these projects are preying on them. So anyways, I pulled up this video. This is supposedly from one of the founders. I had a quote in here. He said, uh, lose your mindset of poverty. Stop selling. In essence, just hold and we'll be worth trillions and trillions of dollars. Blah, 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 blah. In addition to that, there's other shills that are out there getting paid or getting early access to tokens to go ahead and pump this thing. Now, normally, I try not to go ahead and spread negativity on my channel, especially with other YouTubers, because I don't know what their life is. I don't know, you know, all the details. But this guy in particular is a freaking tool. 
He's a tool. So he starts off this video saying, hey, guys, just so you know, this is not financial advice, but had a token. Ooh, I'm telling you, this is a good point to get into something real early, real early. And then if you scroll down in the comments, this is how this works. OK, so they pay him to cover the video and then they go out and they pay bots to comment on the video. So it gets additional exposure. So like this video was viewed 30,000 times. And the vast majority is probably real people because this thing's pumping in the YouTube algorithm. Ugh. But if you scroll down to the comments, look at this. It's bots. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciative for all your all you do daily. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciative for all you do daily. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciative for all you do. Daily. And like you scroll through it and that's what it is. Like it's nonstop bots. Bots on bots on bots on bots. All right, so the next thing I look at is I try to dive into the roadmap. And the purpose for that is to see, okay, what is the future of this project? Not only what is the future, but what have they accomplished in the past? And with these type of things, typically it's all around um, generalizations. So again, making it kind of complex. So you don't fully understand what they're doing. Very, very obscure things. Uh, a lot of stuff around community building. <laughs> And then also like really grandiose objectives, like building Dow to Dow Valley in Wyoming, USA. So if you're not from the States, Wyoming is a state in the United States. And the way I'm reading this, they want to create a city in the United States for Hadakin token. Too ambitious, <laughs> too ambitious. Uh, what we got in the comments? Gibberish. Uh, Meta Marvel, is there an online database where you can go and see a list of known or possible scams like this one? Yeah, you know what? I think there are. Um, I haven't been on them recently, but there are forums where people go ahead and they post that stuff. Crypto Marcoco, that's how people learn. Trial and A. Hey, you know what? You're 100% right. You're 100% right. I mentioned earlier in the video, I thought Safe Moon was legit. Like, I on it, like, I made content about safe moon on my channel telling people i thought it was a good investment that reached hundreds of thousands of viewers and in my mind i thought it was a re legit project it's only once i lost like four thousand dollars and realized it was kind of a i don't even know if it was a scam but just like a poorly ran project that i began my process of actually researching and kind of enhancing that side of my skill set so yeah you're, you're definitely right <clears throat> Crypto Marcoco, use token sniffer, enter the contract address and gives you a good heads up. Yeah, definitely. 100%. So another thing you can do, too, is you take the name. If you Google it, you put some of their founder names in there. You get things like this. Uh, fleeing linchpin of Nigerian crypto Ponzi scheme, Inks Nation, has been captured. And has been charged with fraud. Okay. So definitely want to look into your founding team. Now, the sad thing about this is I'm pulling up these transactions. This is from today. You can go through. People are spending BNB, right? Worth a couple hundred bucks. They're swapping it every couple hours for this token. So there's people out there in the world who, again, feel this is a legitimate thing and they're spending their hard earned money trying to get into it, trying to chase it down. So hopefully this video reaches some of those people. Hopefully it helps them out. Um, yeah. So let's go. Let's wrap this thing up. Uh, so it's if there's community focused tokens, immediately I'm distrustful. If they talk about charity, saving the world, uniting the world, all those th all those type of things. I think researching the interconnectivity between the token and other protocols, right? We found through Inks Nation that one of their team members had been arrested for fraud. The sad thing is that regardless, people are still swapping their money for this token. Another part of this, too, is I look at the markets where it's listed. Currently, it's only listed on PancakeSwap, which is a major red flag because it either means that they are too amateurish to market properly, to earn enough money to list on a proper exchange, or just, you know, it's a scam, right? Just a scam right out. Again, the website is super amateurish. Like, 
I, I would never put my money into a protocol that had this type of branding. 100% would never do it. Another piece too is this thing is built on the Binance Smart Chain. And that's kind of like shitcoin central because it's super cheap to go ahead and launch a project. Uh, to go ahead and launch on Ethereum, you're having to pay the ETH gas fees typically. And so a lot of these kind of scammy things go ahead and they launch on Binance. Not saying everything on Binance is a scam, but it definitely kind of sends up some signals. So there you have it. I think Hadiken is a pile of crap. I think that the people behind it should be embarrassing themselves. I do believe in karma and for them collecting money from unsuspecting investors, people who don't fully comprehend. I hope it comes back on them. I hope they get everything that they deserve. And all the crypto YouTubers out there shilling this thing, same thing for them. I hope they get karma back hundredfold because it's really sad. But boom, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is there anything I missed? Any other tools or things that you look out for when trying to spot a scam? Let me know and I'll pin it in the comments so everybody else can see it and hopefully avoid getting wrecked. But there's our review of Hadiken and how to spot a scam.